long ago, people from all over Ireland travelled to the very south to see the magnificent stars. A noble lady was one of these travellers. And when she looked into the sky, one star began to glow more than the others. Without knowing why, she opened her mouth and swallowed the star. Shocked and dazed, she realised that she was expecting a baby. This baby was St Piran. Washed up on the coast of Cornwall, clinging to the millstone that he travelled on across the Irish Sea, St Piran dreams. He dreams of his childhood when he was lost in the forest. Coming across a clearing, young Piran spots a dead bird. He prays over its body. He prays for the little bird to come back to life. With the water lapping over his body, Piran wakes up. While waking up, St Piran's mind wanders back to Ireland, when he came across a battlefield. Piran could not understand the meaningless destruction of war and he prayed for the fallen soldiers, bringing them back to life. Ireland has me, Uzi and Nev, Santez, Ribo, the Hano, that all for Doak Rez and Nor, Capper Hag and Nev, a road in the Hedio, and a bar up of Dilliac. It just so happened that as St Piran lay lost on the beach at Perran Porth, three people were out walking along the dunes. Badger was the thoughtful one, while Fox and Boar loved to joke around. Badger saw St Piran first, and all three decided they must go and help the man on the beach. Oh, she didn't eat more since gone. Baroch of the Lawarn. Ah! Beth you, Hannah! New one! Dang cough you! They took the lost man from the wreckage of his little boat to a cave 
to warm his bones. Once dry, they asked him his name. Piwasta. Uh, to uh, Kiron. Kiron, he replied. Kiron. Piren. 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 Uh, Piren. Uh, nah, uh, they did not nah, speak his nah, language Piron, um, and uh, decided Piron. to call him Piren. 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 Badger asked him why he was here. Pragosta, Oma. Uh, uh, Piran replied in Latin. Uh, Pater noster chius in calius, sanctifier nominum tuum. So boar, fox and badger thought that he was a holy man. They told Piran that they would help him gather followers so he could teach them how to be Christians. Once they had gathered, they wanted to welcome him by teaching him a local song. This is my Cornwall, and this is my home. Brand, now Piran had gathered his followers, he Ready asked them to, to celebrate by building a fire. Once the fire was built, Piran and his followers gathered round for warmth. St Piran prayed over the fire, focusing on a rock by his feet. Soon after, the rock began to glow, so Piran decided to pick it up. You idiot! Use these! Suddenly, a silver liquid began to seep out of the rock, forming a cross. This silver liquid was tin, which once discovered was mined all over Cornwall. To the new Christians of Cornwall, Christian I give to you Gerda, the word of the Father, Gare, the Son, and, Taz, and the Holy and Spirit. And Spirit and to the miners of Cornwall, I give to you tin. And to the children, I give to you the best gift of all, the Celtic nation of Cornwall.
St Piran gave us pure refined tin, which was mined all over Cornwall. He also gave us our flag, a white cross of tin on the black soot of the fire. St Piran brought Christianity to Cornwall hundreds of years before many other parts of Britain. Three parishes are named after him. Every March the 5th, we remember St Piran. Gul Perrin Lowen. <laughs>